Oh, hey name tags and welcome back to my channel. This is Ash from here my PC99. Today is a quick fix on the following error message on booting up your computer or laptop. CMOS checks on bad message appears. The CMOS is responsible for retaining information like time and date, etc. This error can be due to one of three reasons. Number one, your CMOS battery needs replacing. This is located on the motherboard. Its code name is CR2032 3V capacity and is very easily replaced. Number two, the CMOS socket for the battery is faulty and needs replacing. A much harder fix requiring soldering skills. And number three, the CMOS setting in the BIOS is wrong and needs to be reset. The easiest one to try first is number three. Here's how to fix it. You need to get into your BIOS settings, so when booting into your computer, press the delete key or F2 key on laptops. Your particular computer may require a different key press, such as F10, consult the motherboard manual. In my case, I can get into BIOS by pressing F1. As you can see, the date and time is wrong, showing 2002, the original date of this computer. Your BIOS layout will be different, but you need to locate a tab under which will be a subcategory to load setup default, the very last tab at the end here. Select load setup defaults by pressing enter or whatever your particular motherboard buttons are. If you need to press F10 or simply select the exit and save changes option, press enter and it should reboot. Be aware that this will reset all the settings back to default. So you should also go into your other BIOS menu options for things like correct boot sequence, etc. Otherwise your computer may not boot up properly. So hopefully this should have fixed the CMOS error message. In case it does not, then you should consider replacing the CMOS battery located on the motherboard, which I will show you in the next video hopefully, link below or click the caption when I add it. And there you go, error message is gone. Ignore the first no ID detected message, this is an unrelated hard drive issue which I haven't connected yet. Hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe, like, dislike, comment and share this vid for future helpful tips. This was Ash from HealMyPC99, until next time, peace out.